sure looking swell. You smell an awful lot like flowers. <laughs> Get out of here, Mr. Hanky, the Christmas turd. Um, today is still the 30th of March. Oh, when the saints go marching in. That's us. We're about to march in to the homeland. Okay, um, today is still March 30th, 2022. I wanted to come on and make a more uplifting video. The one I did this morning, I was aggravated because the beep, beep, beep noise had woke me up yet again. Um, just a lot of crazy stuff with that. But I was glorifying Satan and what his minions, the village idiots, <laughs> what they were doing. But guess what? The Most High is doing way more. He is cleaning his house. You heard me? He's cleaning house, y'all. I wanted to say thank you to several of you that um, commented on the last video. Please start commenting if you can, y'all. If you feel guided to comment, please comment because I need encouragement. I'm really being beaten down right now. and I'm exhausted. I know a lot of us are feeling the same way, but once I upload videos, especially if I actually am able to video something with my laptop, because I can't use my phone, they've disabled the camera, but I get hit even harder, okay? So it helps me to keep posting if I see that I'm helping a few of y'all. So I really appreciate it. Y'all blessed me this morning with those nice comments. So... Um, again, see how Satan attacks. As soon as our eyes open, we're being hit. This is 80 to 90% spiritual manifesting into the 10 to 20% physical. The battle is on our mind. If Satan can get us to lower at a, or resonate at a lower level, a lower frequency, then he can, he can take over it. Basically, he can start guiding us the wrong way and taking us away from hearing our father's voice. We resonate at a very high level. All of us on here, I believe, are true empaths. We feel other people's pain, their energy. Okay? We soak that up, so we need to deflect that. How do we do that? We do that. If you're blessed with a tub, which they always give me places with showers, now the shower doesn't even um, run warm it's either boiling hot or freezing cold I'm, I'm really not kidding you anything to take our way our peace away is what lucifer's team of demonic minions are going to try to do but we overcome by the blood of the cross so anyway um i like jump in and out of the shower like away from the shower head hey it keeps me on my feet because i feel like dancing in the shower and I'm dancing with myself. Okay, hold on a minute. <sighs> Delicious. Okay, y'all just imagine me drinking a glass of water. Okay, so yeah, that's what happened this morning. I was kept up very late with the noise. I won't even go into all the just outrageous noise that they do to me. So I'd only had maybe four hours of sleep. I was exhausted. I needed more sleep. And I get woke up to beep, beep, beep. It wasn't even light yet. And that took off my focus off of praising Father. I hadn't even prayed yet, y'all, when this started, when I opened my eyes. And I decided to go ahead and make a video. I made one video, talked for like 30 minutes. It's not uploaded because it showed my street sign in it. But, um... Then I came and made another one. And this is really freaking crazy, y'all. So where I videoed, and I videoed a couple times before, showing the corner with them digging up the streets the last two weeks, and now they've installed more lights. One in the front window, one on the side window, which are the only windows I have. Um, these aren't lights they're not just to aggravate with bright light beaming through these horrible mini blinds crumbling down <laughs> it's all you can't make this stuff up it's also because there's cameras in them but we as god's elect we already know we're watched 
From the time we're born, we're watched. We're targeted from birth, if y'all don't know that. But anyway, this is just bizarre. Don't y'all feel like we're in a freaking movie or some people call it a Sims game, which I don't, I've never played that. I, I guess it's a video game. Don't y'all feel like we're the star? Everything is orchestrated for us and I'm not being prideful. I don't want this attention. I want to be left alone. I want to walk out the door and go about my day. Be able to talk to father and sit out on a park bench and just enjoy outside in nature. Even for just five minutes. Five minutes. I don't even get 30 seconds. And I'm completely swarmed. Questioning and just crazy stuff. Anyway, I don't want to glorify Satan, but I'm just saying it's like, what the heck? What is this crap? I'm not kidding y'all. So after I made that last video, I got online and this was some news channel here. I'm in an area I don't know. I'm not from here, okay? The Lord guided me here. Satan wanted me here, but the Lord used it for my good, okay? And through my little dog's death, uh, the end of last year, who she was the tiniest targeted individual. And uh, she made it home. Father ended her suffering. But anyway, long story short, too late. So this thing pops up in my feed and it's the news. Well, I don't watch TV. But it's like a little clip, like a two minute clip of something here. And it was titled more police are needed in blah 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 area i'm like what more police are needed in my area okay of the whole entire city this little area has nothing here there's no bars here there's a couple of restaurants with bars in them but no bar bars there's no shop there's nothing okay there's not even a grocery for a couple of miles and i would walk 500 miles so why do they need all more cops? So it shows that they're calling for more police officers in this area. Okay? Why? Why? Because of me. I'm not even kidding. And of all the pictures that they show on the news, y'all, this was a clip on the news that happened last night. So I'm just now seeing it because I don't watch TV. I don't even own a TV. It shows the, the view from the street of the window that I'm on. <laughs> Basically my building and the view that I get on the news calling for more police officers in this area because tourists are coming into the area. It's not tourists. These are Satanists. These are sellouts to the Satanic system. This is a hive mind being called all to invade this area. I've been seeing people getting off buses dragging suitcases i've been seeing them getting out of cabs all in the past couple weeks there is nothing over here for an attraction okay why are they over here and not in downtown why because of me that's how powerful we are y'all this it's crazy the it's just insane it's lucifer aka now his name is satan when he fell he became satan so if you're wondering, I've talked about this before. Why does it seem like every na neighbor is part of the gang stalking? Because they are. There's a few neighbors that might not be. They either paid them off to leave. They paid them to turn into agents or they scared them off. Very few are scared off. They usually just bow down and go along with it. They're told that we're, um, we're under surveillance, that we're dangerous, we're terrorists, all these different things. <laughs> I couldn't even walk my little five pound, 15 year old dog without being completely surrounded. They try to run my dog over all the time. Like I said, she was very targeted. Then they laugh about it. This is satanic groups. They're all the high mind, you get it? So they're beings called into your neighborhoods. Coming to a city near you, live on Jesus TV. This is, this is really not a joke. Look around your neighborhoods. I bet you half your neighbors envision me doing the parentheses sorry the camera's off um half the neighbors have paper plates and no i don't mean paper plates where you 
you eat your food. Like, uh, temporary tags. Why do they all have temporary tags, you ask? Because the governing of the mental, the corrupt government, stack that run the satanic system, give them new cars to stalk us. So they all have um, temporary tags. They also switch off tags so they're not recognized. Then I bet you you'll see tags with G on them. Those are usually black SUVs with dark tinted windows. They get away with the illegal dark tinted windows because they're the criminals. These are FBI and CIA, CIA men in black that actually are real. They actually stalk chosen individuals. And they'll start with a G, okay? And then whatever the number is, that stands for government. Um, FBI roll around, um, like I said, in men in black cars usually, or black SUVs, sometimes white vehicles. You'll see them all over, you only where you're at. Um, and then you also will notice lots of cars with one headlight. Uh, literally about every third car dr that drives by has one headlight. That's a gang stalker. Those are the lower level pond scum. Or they have beat up, like a really nice car, like a forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollar car with something beat up on it, like a bent, uh, mangled bumper, something like that. That's because they're causing wrecks on purpose. So they don't get these new awesome cars. If you have a nice car like that, you're going to go get it fixed if you're legit. But they're not too legit too legit to quit. They know they're going to cause another wreck. That's what they're here for. They're here to harm others. They're being paid to cause wrecks for targeted individuals, aka God's, the most high God's chosen. So they don't fix them because they know they're going to do it again. Look around. Look in the, in the little areas. The, if you have areas where there's a restaurant, and there's a parking lot, look in the, in the parking lot and you'll see a whole gang of these Nazis. We live in Nazi Germany. This has been a police state. I've been telling y'all this for years that I've been being harassed and targeted and falsely accused and falsely set up, not once but twice, by corrupt criminal cops. I turned two of them in a long time ago to internal affairs. They did absolutely nothing except break into my house, try to scare me, and stole my Jeep out of my driveway. Cops in uniform came, snuck around the back of the house. I'm not making this up. My neighbor witnessed it, but she was too too scared to be a witness. She just told me. She called and said, this is back before I had completely given my life to Jesus. So there were still a few neighbors that weren't completely part of it, that weren't turned into Satan's robots. She called and she said, Lena, don't go out of your house. There's two cops and they're walking around because she had known some of the stuff they had already done to me, like steal my Jeep out of my driveway. Yeah. They towed it off out of my driveway and then sent me a ticket 28 days later after I um, filed that the car was stolen. So I was going to get um, the insurance in 30 days. 28 days later, I get a notice that my car was impounded by the cops for parking too close to a fire hydrant in my driveway. Yes, that's right. In my driveway. And there was no fire hydrant. So I had two days that two days to come up with, I don't know how much it was, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500. had to borrow it to get my Jeep back that they stole. This is some of the crap they've done to me. Um, just all kinds of false accusations. They tried to get me to have sex with them. When I wouldn't, they gave me a DUI because that's something people would believe because I had a problem with drinking because of all the never-ending harassment. Never-ending. It was like an escape for a day. But I never drink and drive like what they were saying. So this is what they do. But anyway, yeah, they came around, cops in uniform, came around to the side of the house and cut. Yes, this is right. They cut my electrical box to where I had no power. And then they took some sort of a tool. My neighbor witnessed this, okay? I didn't. I didn't see it. I was in the house. And they took some tool and they turned off my water. And then they laughed about it as they walk off. And my neighbor warned me. This is some of the corrupt things they do. These are seed of the serpent. They're Satan's army. Okay? And if you cops are listening to this, don't like what you're doing, bravo. You need to stand up against it. You need to call out these corrupt ones. If the very least, you need to quit. Because if not, you're going to be held accountable.
for keeping your mouth shut. That goes along with you gang stalking neighbors. If you're going along with this, you're not actually participating in it, but you know what's going on or you're witness it, witnessing it and you're not speaking out against it, you are also going to be held just as accountable. And you will be going into the lake of fire with all the rest of these criminals. Okay, so getting back to the positive things. So Father has lifted my spirits. It sank for a minute by talking about them. So maybe that's why I was allowed to talk about it because I don't like bringing these old things up. But... We have to focus on above and not below. Father's doing a new thing. He is cleaning house. These Satanists are not getting away with it like they think they are. They're all turning on each other. They're all having to sacrifice their own friends and family, if that's possible to do. Actually, consider anyone friends because they're all prideful and they're all for themselves. But you're going to see a lot of more celebrities and people high up dropping. Um, they're also going to be confessing who they are and who they work for. Satan, seed of the serpent. So I just wanted to come on and tell y'all. This is what Father guided me to. Zechariah um, 8, 3. Thus saith the Lord, I am returned to Zion. I will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth. And the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. That's where we're going. We're going to God's holy mountain. The city of truth. We're truth speakers. We can't stand all this evil. We have to call it out. We're called to expose evil. So, of course, the evil is going to come against us. So, when you're being persecuted, don't find it a strange thing. Remember, Jesus said, if they hated me, they will hate you also. But he also said, greater than these shall you do. We are going to be able to do things that Jesus did plus more. We're going to be able to cast out demons. We're going to be able to heal the sick with our hands. Not even having to touch them, just hold our hands over them. We're going to be able to cast these fallen workers of iniquity into the lake of fire. We are the two witnesses. We are the witness of our spirit being as well as the holy spirit that dwells in us those are the two witnesses when we're called up to the throne room what we're seeing now goes right straight up to heaven because we're cannot connected to our father who art in heaven so he sees through our eyes just like the satanic hive mind sees through satan's eyes that's how they all know what's going on that's how they say these things that only we know it's the movie Fallen. That's what we're living. So anyway, I just wanted to end it with all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, God who sits on the throne. He is coming back, y'all. So don't give up. Fight the good fight. I believe some of us are going to be called up the Holy Mountain very, very soon. Um, April Fool's Day, again, that's a high watch day. It's a new moon. It's also... Uh, the planets are aligning, I think, anywhere between the 1st and the 3rd through the 5th. Um, all the planets are aligning. Remember, the Lord said he's going to give us signs in the sun, moon, and stars. People will be eating and drinking, being given in marriage and marrying. Yeah. Um, and that's what they're doing. They're, they're, in, they're in denial or they've been given over to... Well, it's the same thing. They've been given over to a strong delusion. So... Also, April 4th, I can't talk, I, I need to get off this <laughs> subject. A April 1st is April Fool's Day. Why is it called that? Because back in the day, before the Satanists and the Freemasons took over everything, and the Catholic Roman Church, the Roman soldiers, which killed Jesus, uh -huh, that's the persecutors. This is an ancient program, y'all. Jesus Christ and all the disciples were targeted individuals. Again, I've said this before. Why do you think the Templar Knights wore red with a cross, a little cross? Why do you think, and Dave Grohl wears the same little cross on his neck. I mean, demon ghoul. He's not Dave Grohl to me anymore. He's a demon. He's an evil, evil demon. And I used to love the Grohl. I called him the Grohlness. Went to many of his concerts before I was saved. But anyway, um, the Templar Knights wore red. The Roman soldiers wore red. The Nazis wore red. The Red Cross. They're all part of the satanic system. The same group 
that persecuted and killed Jesus. These are our tormentors, hence why they wear red and black. This is why. They're showing who their allegiance to is, to Satan. And they're crumbling. They're running scared, y'all. Do you know how many gang stalkers, why are they called gang stalkers? Because it's a gang of Nazis. It's, it's a gang. It's an actual gang of bullies, like schoolyard bullies, but worse. These are grown adults. Whole cities coming against one person. That shows the power that we have because we have the Holy Spirit. Thousands shall fall at our side. 